All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Thursday. We got names for most of the days of the week, don't we? We got Tasty Tunage Tuesday, Wanderlust Wednesday, Octane Friday, Slow Down Sunday. I got nothing for Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's all right. Maybe we'll do something about that. Anyway, you guys have been patient with me this week. Uh, Paul Chabot's 50th birthday, that clocked in at, uh, I don't know, 12 minutes. And then yesterday's Wanderlust Wednesday with She's Having a Baby. What was that, nine minutes? I mean, I just, I, you know, it, it happens, right? So I'm going to try to be shorter and sweeter today, even though this was a big record for many people. Uh, I'm trying to keep it, I mean, I try to keep them under five minutes for most of the time. But it's been a long week for, for you guys, and it's only Wednesday. So what are we getting to today? This week in 1973, The Who dropped their sixth album, Quadrophenia, following up Tommy with another opera. And then they had another opera that in the like this Lifehouse project. Anyway, we'll, 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 never mind that. This is a double album put out in 1973. It's an opera about that takes place in the 1960s. The main character's name is Jimmy. He's, I mean, you know, he's a disaffected youth. Doesn't like his parents. Doesn't like his job. So what does he do? He goes out with his buddies, and they're all mods with their short, neat hair, and their scooters, and they take pills, and they go to concerts. Concerts like The Who. Quadrophenia, quad four, represents the four personalities of the members of the band and the four sides of Jimmy. See where I'm going with this? Because it turns out that his freedom is all an illusion. See? See what I mean? See what I mean? That's what's happening here. All right. So uh, it was turned into a film in 1979, a very uh, youngish sting. sting plays a key role in that movie in case you didn't know that uh wasn't he in dune after that or something no <laughs> anyway um so uh they toured on this the tour was a nightmare they used backing tracks for all the extra instruments they used on this thing and that was a big fail uh it was rough it was rough uh frankly for me personally you know my who journey there's there's people out there in in the cave world who are not fans of the who uh, personally, I think, first of all, there's phases of the Who. There's the, the 1960s Who, very different than the 70s Who, very different than the 80s Who. So I feel like there's got to be some music in there for everyone. I mean, I, I tend to like all of the stuff, like bits and pieces. I'm not a blanket Who fan, uh, and, but I do like a ton of their music. So uh, I can't say I bought... The only album I bought from them was Who's Next, like the whole album after that it was greatest hits and stuff for me i'm just saying so i didn't have this record i didn't own this record uh so someone's gonna have to speak to me about this record in the comments below about what it meant to them if they like got this record and just it was their jam all right so i don't know a lot of these songs on here the songs that stick out for me are are three the real me 515 and then your song of the day your song of the day is one of my favorite who songs of all time and I, I was kind of a late bloomer for The Who. I mean, they are playing it on Rock Block Weekends, and I liked, like, Magic Bus and all this other stuff. Uh, but and Bo then I discovered Boris the Spider and all these songs. But anyway, Love Rain O'er Me. O'er Me. It's not over me, people. It's Love Rain O'er Me. It's just an awesome song. It's, it's one of those songs that you you might change it sometimes, you might other times. But then you, you stop and you're thinking, you're like, man, I like this song. It's just a good song. Love. I'm not going to sing. I told myself I would never sing on this show if I could. Uh, but this is just a jam right here. This is a really good Who song. I mean, I don't know how you cannot like Love, Rain, or Me. This is awesome. Anyway, that's your song of the day. Tell me about the Who, people. I know what you're going to say. Some of you are lovers. Some of you are haters. Some of you are fighters. Some of you are lovers. Uh, but I feel like there's plenty of Who stuff out there. Even if, I, even if you said to me, Mark, I don't get it. I could give you samplings of each decade and be like, well, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? You know, whatever it is. Uh, you know who you are. You know who you are. Uh, and you also know who you are about how you're going to comment about how awesome this album is because I need to hear more. But those are the songs that stick out for me. 515, you know, that's the one I grew up with too. But Love Rain Over Me is easily your song of the day. Awesome Who song for today. So crank it up, even if it's just one. Crank that one up. Tell me what you think. We're at 504. It's a wrap. Have a great Thursday, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.